Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and in today's video I'm gonna show you in a few simple steps on how to actually speed up your Windows 11 PC or just overall optimize your Windows PC for better performance. All these steps are super easy and I'm gonna explain everything step by step so don't be worried. And if you enjoy content like this, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me out so, so much. And without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. Yeah guys, for this first method, I'm gonna show you a brand new method where I'm sure that 99% of you still didn't know about this. So therefore guys, what I want you to do in the first place is click here onto your file explorer and just simply open up your PC. Once we're in here guys, we're just gonna make sure that we select our local disk C because this is like most of the times the one where your Windows is installed. If it's not, just simply select the one where Windows is installed. For me, it's C as mentioned. Just simply double click onto it and scroll down a little bit until you find Windows. Once we find it, just simply double click onto your Windows folder and press S on your keyboard until we find software distribution. Super important guys, this is the file we're looking for. Just simply double click onto it and now we got a few data in here. We got data storage, download, post reboot event cache, SLS, and then like here's some reporting events. Um, There's like a normal log file. We don't need to care about this one. And what we want to take actually care of is the downloads folder guys. And we're gonna click onto this and there are like literally all the modified and all the files of previous Windows downloads, updates, whatsoever, fixes. And as you can see, we got tons of files in here. And if we're actually gonna inspect them real quick, we can see that those almost take like 3.4 gigabytes or actually here in total 3.4 on my hard drive here. And yeah, this is like a ton guys. And you gotta think about this, those are all temporary files, which means like every time Windows is updating something or doing something Windows update related, this is gonna get like always refreshed in the background, actually putting on a huge workload. So what we're gonna do is right click onto this here guys and just simply go onto delete and make sure that we delete all of them or at least as much as we can. As you can see here, one file is not actually deletable, so therefore, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it there. But yeah, guys, there's actually a small trick. If you can delete all of them, just simply open it up and try to select as many files in here as possible. As you can see, there is so much stuff here and just try to literally delete as much as we can. And yeah, guys, once we're done with that, we're just gonna go here actually again onto properties and you can see, guys, that it's only 103 megabytes left. So therefore, yeah, we freed up 3.3 gigabytes, which is actually insane. And yeah, as mentioned, guys, those are all just temporary files in the background, putting on a huge workload on our system and taking up so much system space. I mean, three gigabytes is quite a lot. And there's literally people out there who are probably gonna have like 10 gigs or whatsoever, really like depending when was like the last time you updated your Windows. And yeah, with that said, we're pretty much done here for the first step. And yeah, guys, now I'm going to show you a small trick how you can make sure that you delete all the temporary files which are coming from your Microsoft Windows Store here on Windows 10 or Windows 11, really depending which one you use, guys. And trust me, especially the Microsoft Store has so many temporary data which you usually can't access so therefore I'm gonna show you a small trick how you can reset it though and yeah guys what I want you to do pretty much right now is go into your keyboard first of all and press your Windows key plus R until you open the run command here and yeah guys once we open up here our run command we're gonna type in VS reset and this pretty much means Windows Store reset and we're just gonna press here actually okay real quick and a new window will pop up here and yeah, you don't have to do anything. Everything is gonna happen automatically in the background. And what this comment prompt pretty much does right now is gonna reset all of our data of our Microsoft Windows Store on our Windows 11, Windows 10 PC. Um, it works pretty much for everything above like Windows 8, I think. And yeah, you can see now that our whole entire Microsoft Store got reset now. All the data are deleted and therefore yeah you just remove like tons of temporary data in the background and tons of processes because you can do some research for yourself guys especially the microsoft windows store takes so much system power and yeah therefore we're pretty much done here with this step as well and yeah guys in this next step i'm going to show you how to actually flash your dns resolve cache and those are pretty much all the temporary cache files which are on your pc after using some stuff or services which are related to the internet and how you can do this is also super super easy what i want you to do in the first place is go get into a windows search bar and type in cmd and right click onto it and run it as an administrator so we have like full admin rights here actually to use everything and what i want you to do then is go into the description of this video and copy the following comment which is called ipconfig slash flush dns and yeah once you get it guys just simply paste it into here and you're gonna press enter on your keyboard and you can see now windows ip configuration successfully flushed the dns resolver cache and trust me guys this is gonna make such a huge difference when it actually comes down to your ping this might lower your ping and just overall make sure that your pc is refreshed fully you know we're just gonna make sure to actually delete all the cache files on our pc and if you guys don't know what cache files are just simply google it it takes like just a few seconds to realize that resetting those is actually really helpful especially when it comes down to the performance of your pc 
and yeah you can see we successfully pretty much flushed them here so yeah we reset all of them and with that said we just made sure that our pc is going to work 100 percent and we're just going to close here this cmd prompt now and yeah we're pretty much done here with this step as well and yeah guys for this final step i'm going to show you real quick how to delete all the prefetch data on your pc which are also just simply slowing it down in the background and costing you important fps and what you guys want to do is go again to windows search bar and just simply type in run until you find the run application here just simply launch it and yeah, once we're in here guys, we're going to type in exactly prefetch, just as written right now here on screen guys, I'm going to put it also in the description of the video, then we're going to click here onto OK, and we can see that we're right now here on our Windows PC in the prefetch category, and those are all just temporary files slowing down your PC whatsoever, and you can see how many there are, yeah, we're just going to select all of them here, actually scroll down all the way here, just make sure to select as many as possible or just simply all of them. And yeah, after you selected all of them guys here, just simply press delete on your keyboard and make sure to delete all of them guys here. Um, if there's like any of them which are right now getting used, that's totally fine. Just simply click here on to do this for all the current items and skip. And yeah, you can see all of them are deleted right now and exactly the same way as temporary data, which probably most of you already know about, like how to delete them. Um, prefetch data, also like temporary data on our PC, just simply slowing it down, costing us important FPS performance. So therefore, yeah, just make sure to also like clean them here once in a while. And with that said, we're pretty much done here with this final step as well. And yeah guys, just as a real quick side info, if you still need some more tweaks to boost your Windows PC performance or just overall get more FPS in games like Fortnite, we are right now over 40,000 members over there guys and you can find all my tweaks here which I covered on my channel on my Discord. I literally got all the tutorials, scripts and everything you guys need literally to run Fortnite at maximum FPS and as mentioned we also have like so many members there so if you have any issues the chances are quite likely that you're gonna find someone who can like actually help you in the chat. We have a very large mod team which are pretty much 24 7 on the discord which can help you out with whatever issues you guys have with your pc just as mentioned it's going to be a link in the description guys i'm just going to mark it as the discord link and you can just straight up join there and i would highly appreciate if you can maybe also invite some more people over there since i'm really trying to build a huge community for everyone so therefore you know if you maybe like reset your pc and you need all these programs like keystacks import or timer set resolution you can all find them at one specific place that's like my main goal with this discord guys and we also have an area there to search players on all the regions guys so if you're interested in that just simply make sure to join my discord and that's pretty much it and yeah guys this is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me out so so much and if you still have any more questions feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below i try to answer as many as possible and with that said have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time stay awesome i'm out peace Before it come get inside Dami Gucci Lee come take a die Kill that shit but just don't kill the vibe